Hi, my name is Kathleen, and uh, I'm here today because I think it's really important to talk to you about something that women of, of all ages um, just really don't know about because their mothers have never talked to them about it. And so I'm here to talk to women who are approaching 50, maybe even approaching 40, and uh, maybe their mother or their grandmother have never really talked to them about this. And that's what happens to your skin as you're approaching 50, 60, and I'm 71, so what happens to your skin at 71? And uh, what happens to your skin post-menopause? You know, there's a lot of things that do happen to your skin as you age, and um, there's uh, three things that I wanted to share with you that, that you will really notice as you are approaching your 50s especially. And uh, one of the things that you're gonna, that you're gonna notice is that you're gonna lose a lot of moisture. And uh, your skin is gonna be dry. Even if your, your skin is oily, you're, you're gonna notice that there's, there, you're gonna have dry patches, you're gonna have uh, uh, little areas of your skin are just not gonna feel the same. You're going to lose elasticity. Um, you know, your hormones are changing, uh, and in fact, you're losing your hor hormones, and eventually, those hormones are gonna be going away, and um, those are really important for a woman, and um, they keep the elasticity in your skin, and uh, they keep you from sagging, and uh, just all kinds of stuff. And then also, and probably most important, is the smoothness of your skin, and that's something that we, are very vain about, you know, the smoothness under our eyes, the smoothness in our neck, you know, as we call it turkey neck. And, uh, and it's just, you know, it gets, as we, as we get older, we get really embarrassed about things like this. I know that I started to get really embarrassed about it, but, uh, <clears throat> but then, uh, you know, you just say to yourself, well, what, what are the things that I can do? You know, there, we can't reverse a lot of the stuff that's going on in our lives and with our skin, but there are certain things that we can do to improve it. So what I'd like to talk to you about are the six things that I have found that you can do to improve it. So the first thing is you have to hydrate. I mean, you just gotta drink a lot of water. So the minimum amount of water that you need to drink every day is at least eight glasses of water a day. So here I am. I've always got this filled up and I've always got it with me wherever I go. And I'm drinking water all the time. The second thing is uh, at the end of the day, make sure that you double cleanse. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to take a, an oil balm or some type of an oil and get all of the first layer of uh, your makeup and any kind of uh, dirt or anything that's been going on during the day and just take all of that off. I know a lot of people, they, they like to use those wipes, but all you're doing is just moving dirt around on your face. That's all you're doing. So really and truly what you really want to do is to uh, take oil or some type of a balm and uh, spread that over your face and then clean that off and then take a second secondary cleanser like, oh, let's say CeraVe uh, hydrating cleanser or um, some type of gentle cleanser and clean that off with a, a water so uh, and, a, and a, a washcloth or um, sometimes uh, they've been really pushing right now um, the uh, microfiber uh, washcloths, which are really soft to your skin, they don't break the skin. They don't. Um, they don't harm the skin in any way. They're really quite gentle. Then the uh, the next thing is to exfoliate um, twice a week, at least twice a week, and I would say any more than that is probably too much. Um, what I do is uh, I exfoliate with a scrub once and I exfoliate with a, um, a, 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 a chemical the second time uh, using glycolic acid. 
And uh, the next thing um, that I do after I use the glycolic acid is during the week I use a salicylic acid to tighten the pores. Um, it just really does. And also another thing is to use witch hazel, believe it or not. It's very cheap, it's very inexpensive. Uh, you can use it and it really tightens the pores, which is uh, really great for people. As, as we get older, for some reason, <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, for some reason, pores tend to appear uh, larger for some, for, and I have no idea why, but they, anyway, uh, for me anyway, that's, that has happened. And then uh, um, if you can afford it, and, uh, and right now companies um, are making it um, more, well, it seems to be more um, cost um, friendly, shall we say, to afford serums, uh, especially vitamin C um, with ferulic acid and um, uh, hyaluronic acid, uh, glycolic acid, and uh, retinol, and if you have oily skin, uh, using salicylic acid. Um, and then, of course, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Um, there are inexpensive moisturizer that you can use and get over the counter, um, and those, those types of things are readily available at your drugstore, or, you know, of course, you can always go to higher end and uh, go to private uh, private companies such as Roden Fields, and I work for a company called Saint, and they have an excellent um, uh, cosmetic line that uh, is proven to be just uh, quite excellent. And then, of course, good makeup, excellent makeup. And that kind of leads in, seg segues into my my promotion of the makeup that I that I use. And um, I just like to point out a lot of the things that are going on in my face right now. Um, I have redness on my nose. I've got redness going on over here. I've got uh, pigmentation. Uh, you can see over here. I've just got a lot of action going on in my face right now. I did a dermaplaning yesterday and I kind of I did it myself and uh, kind of got a little carried away. So anyway, it kind of takes a little while for this to clear up. And I, for some reason, my nose has been peeling and peeling and peeling. And I just have to put a lot of like, oh, Vaseline or something on it or, or it just won't get well. So anyway, uh, for over the next two weeks, I'm going to be using my routine um, and using my makeup on a daily basis. And I'm going to be um, doing a video every day and publishing it and showing you the improvement of my skin every single day so that you can see that this really works. So this is like a 71-year-old person who has kind of messed her skin up, and also I have breakouts here, and so this is kind of starting from scratch, because I have to tell you the truth, I wasn't very good at taking care of my skin for several days, I wasn't feeling well, and uh, I just kind of just let it go, and uh, I'm sure that a lot of you can relate. So anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do. So starting tomorrow, um, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you what I've done, and, and I'm also going to apply my makeup. So here I am. You can see me starting tomorrow. We're going to start looking our best. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.